What's up Video Fort Nation, I'm Magic Bard and welcome to 3 Minute Thursday Tutorials where I'm going to show you how to create an audio spectrum effect like the one that's going on right now. But before we get started I want to give a couple of shout outs to these guys, boom, boom, and boom. Really appreciate the love guys. Thanks a lot. I love seeing your stuff in the comments. But if you guys are new to Video for it, hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you guys will be notified every time we put out an epic tutorial every single week. Now with that being said, let's throw up that clock and get things started. All right guys, so what you want to do is start a new composition and we'll call it audio spec. Enter and throw in a new layer. So layer new solid and press OK and what we're going to do is add our audio track to the bottom and then with your layer selected let's just call this our spectrum layer go into your effects and presets type in audio and drag that spectrum onto there so now you're gonna have this audio spectrum and what you want to do is go to audio layer and make sure it's on the audio layer that we put into our composition so now let's add a background layer new solid and throw that to the bottom right here and then we'll put on a gradient and I'm gonna go with a four color gradient and just really turn down all these colors to a darker version of themselves okay and then just turn up the blend and the jitter to a hundred percent Okay, so now we've got that. Go back to our spectrum layer, click on the ellipse tool, and in the center, click, hold down shift, and hold down the command button to create a perfect circle in the middle. And then what we're gonna do is go to our path and, type, and click on mask. Okay, so now we've got our audio spectrum in a circle, and I'm gonna go to the side options and go to side B, so we're gonna hit the outside of this. We're gonna have to open up the mask, so go to the mass expansion and turn that up a lot so then we will start to see our audio spectrum now what we also want to do is turn that end frequency to 200 and also turn up the maximum height a bit so we can see it a little more and cool now we're getting somewhere let's also turn up the frequency bands okay so we get that smoother look and then we're also gonna add a glow to the effect so throw on a glow onto your spectrum and then I also want to turn up this hue interpolation of the audio spectrum to one so I get that colorful rainbow looking effect and then go back down to the glow and um, let's just kinda mess with these let's turn up the radius just a bit and the intensity barely and then we're gonna duplicate this so command D and then let's go down to the second one turn down the intensity and the radius you can turn it kind of up let's turn down the intensity and we've got this kind of atmosphere look to it now all you really have to do is add your logo to it and boom guys you are done in less than three minutes. Audio spectrum ready to go. Okay guys, so if this tutorial helped you out at all, please leave us a like and let us know in the comment section if there's anything new, any type of visual effects that you guys would like to learn. Um, maybe that you've seen off of Instagram or Facebook or some movie that you want to know more about. Hopefully we can address those and get out some tutorials to you soon. I hope you guys are having an epic summer. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe, like and subscribe. Post your visual effects on Instagram and tag us. I'd love to see you guys' work. And with that being said, this is Video Forward on Magic Bard. And I'll see you guys on the next one.